Hi guys, it's Sophie. Welcome back to our channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieved this blue and green halo eye look. And I did use the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill Vault collection, the Dark Magic palette. So if you guys want to see how I achieved this look, then just go ahead and keep on watching. So the first thing I'm doing is priming my eyelids and I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Fair. And I'm just applying that evenly all over my lid and then I blended it out with a damp beauty sponge and also set it with a little bit of translucent powder. And then I'm picking up this palette here and this is the original palette from PR. This is not the reformulated version that they're going to be releasing. But I still think that this palette was pretty good so I'm going to be using it in today's look. I did pre-record this video before Morphe announced that they were going to be relaunching the palette but here is what it looks like here and this is definitely not an everyday palette. There's a lot of really dark colors in this palette but I still think that these colors are all very beautiful and if you're into doing makeup I think that you'd really like this palette if you are into doing like makeup looks and are into using brighter colors. So the first thing I'm doing is applying my Makeup Forever Starlet Powder number 13 onto my brow bone. I just love a brow bone highlight and even though the palette didn't have one, I still wanted to apply one. Then I'm going into this really cool toned light brown shade and I'm just buffing that into my crease. Next, I'm picking up this dark blue shade and I'm going to be applying this directly into my crease with this angled brush and start in the center of your lid and then work your way to the inner and outer corner to get a nice even line and I am going above my natural crease just to give myself a little bit more lid space. Then I'm picking up this fluffier brush and I'm just going in left and right motions to diffuse that blue shade that we applied in our crease. And then I'm picking up a another brush and a little bit of that blue shade and then I'm going to start to add some blue into the crease just to make it more blended and more gradient going into that other light brown shade. Next, I'm picking up this concealer blending brush and some more of my Tarte Shape Tape in the color Fair. And I'm just starting to carve my lid. And I did pinch the tip of this brush just to get a really nice, precise line for that crease. Next, I'm going into this shade here called Power Cut and it's a really nice metallic silver shade and I think that all of the foiled eyeshadows in all of these palettes are really phenomenal. I did wet my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus but I still think that the color payoff was really pretty. So I'm just applying that evenly onto my lid. Next I'm going into this shade here called Potion and I'm picking up a fluffy pencil brush. And I'm just starting to apply this to the inner and the outer corner. And initially when I put my brush down, I start on the very outer corner. And then whenever I have a little bit less product on the brush, I start to move um, into the center of the lid to get a nice gradient effect. And then I picked up the dark brown eyeshadow, or the dark brown, the dark blue eyeshadow in the palette. And I did the same exact thing. And this is with a slightly smaller pencil brush. And... I really like the way that those two colors looked mixed together. They're now applying my Shop Sophie Bell lashes in the style Barbados. The link to purchase those lashes will always be in the description box down below. And then I'm applying my Mr. Right eyeliner by The Bomb in my waterline. And then I'm going into the light brown shade in the palette and I'm just buffing that onto my lower lash line. And then I went ahead and I picked up the darkest brown eyeshadow in the palette. And I just picked this up with a really defined brush here. And I just try to get it as close to my lower lash line as possible. And I really love the way that this brown complemented the top of my eye makeup. I think that it looked really nice. 
and then I applied my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and the last step for this look is to apply some inner tear duct highlight. I applied my Makeup Forever Starlet Powder number 13 and I applied a little bit more on my brow bone as well. And then I did grab my spoolie and I ran it through a bar of soap. And that's the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. We're about to pick our winner for this month's giveaway. So if you want to be entered and have a chance to win the entire Morphe Bolt collection, then go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed. Make sure you turn your post notifications on and then make sure you comment done down below to be automatically entered. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!